Hey, it's Metacosis Perfect Status, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today, we continue our playlist called Signs in Medicine, and it's time for Gower's Sign. In the previous videos, we have talked about Homan's Sign, Koenig's Sign, and Brudzinski's Sign. What is the difference between symptom and sign? Symptom, you, the patient, will tell me what's going on, what's your complaint. But sign, I, as a freaking doctor, will figure it out. Signs are divided into clinical or physical signs and radiological signs. Example of a clinical sign, Homan sign, Koenig sign, Brzezinski sign, and today's topic, Gower's sign. Radiological signs include stuff like donut sign, seen in intersusceptions ultrasound. Steeple sign, you can see it on x-ray in cases of croup. Moreover, thumb print sign seen in acute epiglottitis on x-ray. Please watch my previous video on Duchenne muscular dystrophy and another video on Duchenne muscular dystrophy mnemonic. Do not confuse Duchenne muscular dystrophy with herb Duchenne palsy. Gower's sign is positive in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Duchenne muscular dystrophy, everything is a D. It's an excellent crisis of their four boys. Duchenne is worse than Becker. Duchenne is devastating. Frame shift deletion of the dystrophin gene, also known as the DMD gene. Why do they call it DMD? Because it's called Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Doofus. Progressive myofiber damage. Loss of dystrophin will lead to myonecrosis. Calf pseudo dystrophy, which causes the positive Gower's sign. The patient is dependent on his arms in order to stand up. The waddling gait can happen. Please try to watch a video about this. Increased CPK and L delays in the serum because of the muscle damage. Cause of death is probably dilated cardiomyopathy or arrhythmia or respiratory failure. Duchenne muscular dystrophy. What is the positive Gower sign? If you ask a normal person to stand up, they will just stand up. But a patient with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, they have calf pseudohypertrophy. They have wasted their muscles in the calf. Therefore, they depend on their arms in order to stand up, and it takes more time. There are videos on YouTube about the positive Gower sign, and it is heartbreaking. Duchenne muscular dystrophy, there is increased risk of malignant hyperthermia. The degree of pulmonary function is inversely proportional to the need for ventilator. So, the worse my lung function, the greater the need for a ventilator. Causes of death could include dilated cardiomyopathy, heart failure, and ventricular arrhythmia. That's why patients need echocardiography and ECG routinely. Diagnosis, PCR for the dystrophin gene, increased CPK and aldolase, muscle biopsy, recombination, pulmonary function test, chest physiotherapy, echocardiography and ECG routinely, and also the non-invasive ventilation. Management, unfortunately, there is no cure available. You manage it symptomatically. Deduction can help. Antibiotics for lung infections. Steroids are huge. Vaccination, surgery for scoliosis and physiotherapy. And don't forget, non-invasive ventilation. I've just received this comment on my video on Duchenne muscular dystrophy and it made me so sad. I have muscular dystrophy and my brother too. But sadly, my brother has died at age of 16 because of a heart condition. And now I'm 20 years old and I'm more scared now because I watch a lot of videos about muscular dystrophy. And it's always saying that at the age of 20, the person with muscular dystrophy will die because of a heart condition. First of all, I am so sorry that you're going through this. Second, yes, it's true that most patients die before 30. But it's also true that today, Duchenne patients live longer than before. Please follow up with a specialist who has dealt with this disease before, not just a regular family doctor or a pediatrician. You need a specialist. Ask about glucocorticoids, non-invasive ventilation, disease-modifying agents, and if there is a clinical trial for a new drug available near you, you can enroll in one. Moreover, no one is an expert about the future, especially your future. Remember the story of Dr. Stephen Hawking. His doofus neurologist said, Oh, you have two years to live, unfortunately. To which he replied, Kiss my calcaneus. And he lived for 56 years. The world is a better place because Stephen Hawking did not give up. So please, never ever give up. Find something that you are so passionate about it and go all in. 
this could make a difference. I've seen your channel and you're very creative. Your song with the headphones trick is just brilliant. And to all my students watching, please go to my video on Duchenne muscular dystrophy and reply to his comment. Let's give him some love. Also go to his channel and please subscribe. I'll leave the links in the description below. Alice Morse Earl once said, the clock is running, make the most of today. Time waits for no man. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. It's not over yet. And I've learned my lesson. I'm not gonna complain about anything. Ever. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis.